Good day from the 65th Annual Cannes Film Festival. I'm Ian Roberts, and I'm presenting to you a program created by Paramax and Mund West, a program entitled Con Echo 2012 in partnership with Screen International. In our program, we have a unique opportunity to take a look into the world of film finance. Through a series of interviews and roundtables, we gain valuable insight from the leaders of the film finance industry and how they are bridging the gap between unique storytelling and the financial resources to make them become a big screen cinematic experience. In this edition of our Con Echo series, we had the opportunity to sit down with executives from the insurance, production, distribution, and the film fund world in understanding the meaning of creativity in film finance today. Let's take a closer look at what they had to say. Uh, and joining me also now, uh, Loic Magnaran, uh, President of Wide Management. Tell us a bit about what you do in your activities. Um, uh, Wide is uh, one of the main uh, independent sell agent, uh, and we used to sell film worldwide. And uh, regarding the financing, we uh, mainly of the most of the sell agent now they have to be attached uh, to give a certain service to the producer in yeah. terms of post production to find co production partners and uh, we had a great year. Fantastic. As far as it relates to uh, initiatives, uh, initiatives on the 2012 agenda, are there any major new initiatives for wide management that will define the year this year? Yes, we, um, we decided uh, based on a certain uh, funding and certain um, um, uh, media, um, the, there is a media support that helps uh, European film for, for many years and they opened a program called uh, Media Mundus two years ago that was um, the main idea it was to support the circulation of the film, uh, non-European film in Europe, European film outside Europe. And we had the chance to propose a project called the Iron Films that started uh, in 2011, then which is the, now the second year. Uh, and it helps uh, the, the film to circulate, uh, the, the film to be released uh, nearly worldwide, the talent to travel, to be known. It's, focused, uh, it's mainly focused on first-time director, and it helps the distributor for their p &A and their minimum guarantee. And uh, today we have a selection of more than 12 films from all over the world, and we succeed to have have uh, uh, attached now 70 partners in America, India, Europe and uh, we think that uh, this partnership and uh, this label Iron Film uh, will increase uh, slowly, slowly. Tell us a bit about how you would define creative finance in your endeavors right now. I, I would be a little uh, serious. The, the, <laughs> the, market, the market for independent uh, producer, independent directors is extremely complicated. Uh, in France, we produce more than 270 films. There is a maximum 80 films attached with a cell agent, and there is uh, less than 40 films that are sold to more than 10 countries. Which, for a uh, uh, first time director, low budget film, the market becomes extremely complicated. If today you don't have, uh, if uh, as a producer, you don't have a major director, a non actor, if the film is uh, not selected in a major festival, the chance to be uh, distributed or to, to be in a certain multiplex is nearly zero. Uh, in terms of um, now, the, 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 the most of the professionals around this table, uh, the creativity comes in the fact that we have to be extremely supportive to understand the, the, the market, to, to give a certain expertise, and sometimes to invent certain ways to be attached to a producer. Um, for the, the, the last two French films, uh, especially one um, directed by Jean-Marc Barr, um, that we sold in more than 40 countries at the beginning, as the film was a kind of genre film. Uh, as a cell agent, we had to attach some partners in terms of post-production to find some equity investors. Because if you are not in the classic way of financing a film, now it becomes extremely complicated. Uh, and for you, Loic, how have you found the issue of international sales and pre-sales uh, playing into your equation for creative financing? Uh, as I said, the, 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 the market is extremely tense, extremely complicated. There is a major competition. Um, you have a film produced and financed in, uh, in, a cert in an official way. And you have many filmmakers with the new media that are producing their own film. Then in a way, there is a so many products for a, 
a tiny market. Um, at the same time, uh, when you're attached as a sales agent, uh, you have to give a, a certain service, then to do pre-sales, extremely difficult uh, if you don't have a major director, major actor. Uh, I always say to the producer uh, that they have to make sure that at least they have to do their job as producer and to get at least 60% of the financing of the film in their own country. Extremely difficult to, to look for money outside of your country if at least you don't secure your domestic market. And, um, and cinema, which is fantastic for the creativity, it's a real business. Um, now there is some uh, uh, obligations uh, uh, that is part of the industry and to work uh, as a producer, as a financer, to find the right, the right partner, to secure investment in your domestic market. Then the sales agent can be attached after, and the agent will give a service, will give uh, some uh, post production partner, will uh, research a co producer. And same, there is some sale, we have a system in France where certain sales agents are quite uh, known and secure, and there is some financing uh, system where if uh, a sales agent uh, gives uh, a kind of sales estimate, the producer can get some uh, um, uh, financing money from that. There is um, uh, th there is so many ways today that um, I would say for a certain type of film, and I have the same uh, vision, um, there is a big problem for medium budget film. The, uh, the, now the market is more attached to a big budget and really low budget and I think that for an um, independent producer the, they will have to work in a way to produce film with lower and lower budget uh, to get uh, a certain income. And how would you add to that Loic in terms of understanding whether or not that plays a factor in the equation today? But we, we're in a system uh, uh, of entertainment. Uh, in France, we are um, cinema is a part of uh, culture. Um, then, how you mix culture and entertainment in um, in a media market? It's extremely complicated. Uh, or you have bankable actor, major directors they attach to studios or major companies, and you have um, another level of financing, another level of servicing, which is more independent. Which uh, most of the time, the directors, the actors are not known. And uh, it's now 25 years that I do this business and um, I work with first-time director where there were a lot of uh, first-time actors attached that became famous after. But these uh, this, uh, directors and actors, they changed the, the, the level of financing of, and partners. Thank you all. Ian Roberts, Paramax Films, here at Con Echo Series 2012. Thank you for watching our Con Echo 2012 series.